<laughs> a finer example of maturity I have yet to ever see. This yeah. is Theater 101. This is what we do every week. You have to know how to build a fort to join theater. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of you, Blade. Yep. I was told by Marcus. Okay, I'll just zoom in onto your face for a little while. Okay. That sounded like oddly threatening. As long as he's not standing up. Answer the question of the day. What is the question of the day? <laughs> it is. I was just, I was just sorry. I was just surprised that you weren't like lunging at me or something <laughs> after you caught on camera. And now it's time for question of the day. What is the weirdest dream you've ever had? I dreamt that there was a truck you could go to, and you could like take off your jeans and get a new pair of jeans. But you would only have to find it like red light, so you hop out of your car and you'd, like exchange jeans. And then I got this terrible pair of jeans that was just awful, so I tried to find the truck again, and I couldn't. <laughs> I had a dream once that my dad played for the Canucks, but it was so vivid that I woke up and I actually thought that he played for the Canucks for like the first like three hours. And then I was like, oh. He doesn't play for the Canucks. <laughs> so my house is really near school, and there was like this war going on at the school, but everyone had to ride on exotic animals. Then my dad went and fought the war, riding an elephant. Wait, 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 got to get a good action shot, there you go. I was getting ready to go somewhere, I don't know where, but I turned to the room. I started turning into a Whoa, that would scare me. I killed Jeremy in my dream at the kitchen knife. That was a weird dream. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Um, so I had a dream, it was grad, and my dress hadn't been altered yet. I was freaking out, I was like, Mom, who's gonna alter my dress? Oh, this is so bad. And then she turns to me and goes, it's okay, Becca, Ben King's gonna do it. And then I look over and there's Ben King altering my dress. And it was really strange, because he was really good. I didn't know Ben could sew. I was on a submarine, and there was a big wall. And I was lucky enough to kids. It was very weird. No offense to any German people, but there was an aisle you could go up for English, and an aisle you could go up for German. Oh, really? And I went to the wrong, I went with the Germans. That's funny. Uh, yeah, no, it was scary, actually. Yeah. That was very weird. Yeah. That was this week. Huh. I had lots of weird dreams. I was running for my life along Aslan and Prince uh, Caspian. And then, 
And then Gandalf showed up, and things just got weird. I once had Inception. <laughs> Where I woke up like five times. I had a dream that I was at my cousin's house, and uh, my parents are out of town, so I had a dream when I was younger that a T-Rex came at me with no teeth. It was no gums. And I remember it bit me in the leg, and I remember actually jolting. And it hurt, I remember that. And I start crying, and I was like, eight. Yeah, it was, it was a scary dream. So if you see a T-Rex with no teeth, don't think it won't bite you, because it will. I'm actually serious. Put that in. Hmm? I'm actually serious. Put it in? No, don't put it in. Put it in? No, please don't. It sounds like you said put it in. No, no, no. I actually, I'm brother and brother here. Don't put don't, any of what just happened don't over here. Don't put it in. Please don't. I beg of you. I'll tell you. I'll tell people your dirty secret. Marcus doesn't have any dirty secrets. I know, but I'll make up one and I'll spread it. <laughs>